Looking for socks, looking for socks. Where's, I found chapstick in my laundry basket. That's weird. Socks, socks, socks. It's Liam Mouse Vlog, Liam Mouse Vlog, it's Liam Mouse's Vlog. So I recently said on Facebook that I wanted to vlog more, which, I don't know, I guess I sort of lost sight of what the whole vlogging thing entailed. That and I got weird about sharing too much about my actual personal life on the internet. I'm trying to put socks on while talking to you guys, sorry. And because people are taking advantage of it and it's like whenever I hit a stressful point in my life, you know, there'd be a couple of dick bags who were just like, oh, I'm entitled and I'm going to be all like stupid and dickish and cruel and, and it's going to be funny for my own amusement to like post this vicious comment and start all these vicious rumors about you, you know, while you're going through a hard time because I have no life and no friends and, you know, stuff. So it just got annoying. So... I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to not share any personal details of my life in my vlogs, and I'll just, you know, record on days where I do fun stuff, you know, and just, you know, make it worthwhile or whatever. But it's kind of shitty because, like, I want to vlog more. I want to be able to just, like, I don't know, show you what goes on in my daily life that doesn't include just the days that I go out and do fun, extravagant things. Not that I do extravagant things, but you know what I mean. So, I thought, why not? I'll just, I'll just do it, like, right now. So right now I'm getting ready for work. I have two jobs. Again, apparently I'm just, like, all about this two-job thing. And, um, I'm getting ready for that, because I go in at five, and it's four right now. And so just to kind of quickly give you a little update, on what's going on in our lives and everything. We're looking for an apartment because currently Derek and I are staying with his brother, which is kind of annoying and inconvenient for everybody considering, well, we're just kind of intruding on his brother's life and privacy and home and all this stuff. And Derek and I want our own place and everything. And it's just, there's too much stuff and it's, you know, we just need our own place. So we're looking for a place in town. We found one. And um, we're waiting to hear back on the application for that. So that's what's in the works right now. In fact, I will throw in a little video footage of the apartment when we went and looked at it the other day for your enjoyment. Right here. Yeah. Dude, this place is awesome. Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh, wow. He just tore up all the carpet and refinished the hardwood floors. Very nice. This is the neatest little bathroom I've ever seen. Not a bad kitchen. Lots of covered space. There's the basement down there. That's what my mom says. He said the fire don't work. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. Oh, who cares? It's pretty. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's cool. Look. What? Yeah, that is cool. I'm trying to figure this out. What is the style? It's just. The oh, it's just. Oh, okay. That's very interesting. I like how the curtain is in here. No, yeah. Yeah, it's two bedrooms upstairs now. So is it baseboard heating then? No, it's gas heat. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Holy crap, these stairs. Wow, it's fucking huge up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh my god! Oh my god, I have to move in. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> it's a sign. She's obsessed with Marilyn Monroe and <laughs> Wow, that's weird. <laughs> oh, cool. No, it's a sign. Marilyn was here to greet me. Yeah, and this one, and it'd be that one would be mine, because it has blue on it. Yeah, this is mine. I want it. Yeah, I like the yellow one. This vision is giant. Yeah, this is awesome. This is a cool bathroom. I know. I like Look. it. Look. <laughs> we have another nook. I know. Dude, we can't reach that. What are you talking about? Hey. Yeah. A little dish for the so, pluggy thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a soap dish. Oh my god. It's in. This is like the really coolest. Cool. This is a cool bathroom. I like it. I know. There's funny cabinets in there. 
wow, this place is awesome. Yeah. Give me that. This, this place is awesome. Yeah. So, hopefully we get that place. We should hear back today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow because it's getting later on in the day today. So, there's that. And school is being put on hold for both of us because my financial aid isn't working out the way I had hoped. Guys, advice about student loans? <laughs> don't ever let them go into default. I don't care what you have to do. If you have to fill out forbearance shit, defer them for financial hardship reasons, pay them, whatever. Do not let them go into default. If you drop out of school and plan to go back in the future, the word default is, is the most evil enemy you will ever encounter when it comes to trying to go back to school. So take my advice. Default is not your friend. Do whatever you can to avoid that shit. Because that's what's screwing me over right now. They're making me wait six months. I have to make six consecutive payments, which are monthly payments, in order to get my loans out of default. And I cannot get any more financial aid, or assistance of any kind, for school if I have even one loan in default. And I have three right now in default. So I'm good at stuff. I'm very good at life. Yeah. So that's why we're looking for an apartment here, because we apparently are extending our stay until we can go, both go to school. He's actually running into some problems with his school too, because he's getting real close to the deadline and they're cracking down on his financial aid stuff too. So that's what's going on with that. And I gotta curl my hair right now because it's bugging me and um, I'll, I'll be back with you shortly. So my hair does not curl the way that it should because, well, it's like dead. Okay, you guys know what I do to my hair. I abuse the shit out of it because I dye it and bleach it and 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 all this shit. So it's pretty much dead. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to repair it. I have all kinds of shit. I have this um, stuff that you spray on your hair before you use any kind of heat stuff. I have this leave-in conditioner foam stuff. Uh, the shampoo that I have is actually damage repair shampoo. And then I also, I just got this thing of coconut oil, which I use twice a week. And it's helping, it really is. But when it comes to styling it and like getting it to do what I want it to do and behave, it's just like, girl, fuck you. You already like destroyed the shit out of me and I ain't gonna cooperate for you no matter what. Fuck your ass. So that's the kind of attitude that my hair has towards me right now. So... But I mean, at least I can make it look decent, you know what I mean? So, you are currently teetering on top of a hairspray can, sitting on top of a shave gel bottle, sitting on top of a toilet paper roll. So, don't do this too much, because you might, really, might lose you. So, I mean, like I said, it's not perfect. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. The underside, where it's healthy, like the black parts, that part works great, but this shit on top is just like, Bleh! I'm too dead to even do anything. Who ate all the pecan sandies? So, you know, it's just, it's just whatever. It's better than it just like laying flat and all stupid against my head. So, but that coconut oil is great. I've only used it once. The jar of coconut oil that I have, I've only used it once, and it is fantastic. Like, so it already helped a lot. So if you have damaged hair, I highly highly recommend getting a jar of this stuff. It was only like 10 bucks or something at Sally Beauty. So yeah, that stuff works really well. This was the makeshift tripod that you were teetering upon. <laughs> I'm good at stuff. I have such a mess. Cause like there's nothing, there's no space in here. Cause this is, this is um, Dennis's house, you know, and that's fine. It's just, you know, there isn't really much room for lady toiletries, so it's all just sort of stacked in a big pile here, and it's it bugs everybody, including myself. I'm trying to keep it nice and neat and orderly, but it doesn't always work that way. Right. So this is my life when I'm not out doing things. Basically, consists of me just getting ready to go to work or being at work or checking my phone 
or playing Bubble Witch. And stuff. And by the way, Derek's at work right now. That's where he's been. What do you guys think? Am I pretty? Am I pretty enough to pull off the duck face? No. But first, let me take a selfie. I think I'm going to take the excess nail polish off my fingernails because it's like snagging on stuff, you know, and it's like catching and it's like, oh, it's giving me a creeps. So I think I'm going to do that real quick before I go to work too because I don't have to leave for a few minutes anyway. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> Speaking of not listening, the other day, it was really funny, that last vlog where uh, we were at the parade, it was really funny because <laughs> Derek has this thing where he tunes out and doesn't listen to people, like, he'll just, I don't know, go off in his brain and he just doesn't listen. It's not just me, he does it to, like, everybody. <laughs> so I was talking, I was, like, trying to tell him something, I was trying to tell him, like, a, a story or about, you know, my life or about my past, something, something to do with something. And I was talking to him, and he was just, like, totally zoned out. I could tell he wasn't paying any attention. And so I patch Adams to him, you know, if you've ever seen that. Um, he, I was just talking, and, like, I just kind of didn't even break. And I was just like, but sometimes I just like to lick my own butt cheeks. And he didn't say anything. Like, he said nothing. And then I, I couldn't keep a straight face any longer, and I just started laughing. He's like, what? I'm like, you didn't hear anything I just said, did you? He's like... No, why? So I told him the original thing that I that I was saying to him, and then told him that I said the thing about licking the butt cheeks, and he's like, no, you didn't. I was like, yeah, I did. I'm like, I wish I would have had the camera on. That would have been hilarious. And he's like, you didn't say that. I'm like, yeah, I did. He goes, oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I have to be at work for 45 minutes, and it only takes like 20 minutes to get there. So maybe I really do my nails, because I mean, I like having my nails done. And in the meantime, just to make things more interesting, please enjoy this footage from a couple of weeks ago when Derek and I were eating cake directly out of the refrigerator while sitting on the kitchen floor. Alright, and uh, this is Leah eating cake out of the fridge. There's the cake, and there's the criminal. You were doing it too. Todd red-handed. Uh, I'm not the one on camera eating cake out of the fridge. Want more? Yeah, I do. Now who's the culprit on camera? I'm not on camera. Yeah, you are. Nope. Smile, you're on cake eating busted camera. That was really stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. but, but so since we sort of just kind of came up with this, and it's not really official and I added my own special flair to the icing, we could just call it like maple cream stick cake. How about that? Maple cream stick cake? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, good. Here you go. Cake. This is the kind of thing that, like, sad fat people do, like, in the middle of the night. Like, come out downstairs to the kitchen and, like, open the fridge and sit on the floor. And, and eat cake. And eat the cake right out of the fridge. Because they're too lazy to eat a fucking plate. Too bad and they're too sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just lazy. I'm not lazy, I just thought it would be more efficient like this and we don't have to dirty anything. That's what I mean. And plus, I didn't feel like walking over and grabbing a plate. Yeah, that's a lot of work. It is. And all we have is paper plates. It's true. Okay, I'm gonna get sick by eating. Oh yeah, I don't yeah. want anymore either. It's so sweet, but it's so good. Okay, nails are done. Turns out I did have orange. Now I just have to wait for them to dry because... There's a whole lot of goop on my fingernails right now. They need to dry before I can touch anything. Are they gonna get all smudged up and gross and just look nasty? I don't know why I'm talking like that. I don't know. <clears throat> it's been a minute since I've just been at liberty to be all silly by myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm odd. I know, I've always been odd. And people tell me that I'm weird and strange and... Oh, I know it. I know it. I'm a totally normal person inside my brain. I know that, but weirdness leaks out every once in a while. I'm totally sane. I'm just weird. I just do weird things. Completely devoid of any drugs. Although other people have argued otherwise over the years, which is stupid. I've never been on any drugs in my entire life, but whatever. Except for that one time that I took codeine cough syrup when I was 10 years old because I had a sore throat and I sort of got a little bit addicted to it. 
<laughs> but that's not the same thing, I don't think. But anyway. Also, another thing, I have two jobs. I don't want people to be saying things like how I have no time to vlog or actually make videos. I don't want people to be saying the thing about, like, you know, do videos while you're at work or whatever. Because, well, one, that's stupid, okay, because you're at work. You know, you shouldn't be dicking around. You should be there to work, so. And, and two, like, they have rules against stuff like that. Like, some jobs won't even let you post certain things on social media about that job. Like, a Facebook update about a coworker, like, that could get you fired. So, I'm not trying to, you know, whip out my camera and record a video while I'm supposed to be working and getting paid for it and then put it online for everybody to see, which is totally violating like 15 different rules by doing that. Um, the third reason is because uh, once before when that happened, when I worked at Papa John's, some little dick bag YouTube viewer decided to be all cute and report my video to my place of employment, you know, for some stupid reason because they have no life and they were trying to destroy mine, my personal life, because they didn't like me or my videos, which is just stupid. So that's another reason I'm keeping work out of these videos is because shouldn't be doing it. It's against the rules. It's unethical and ain't none of your business. You know what I mean? And I mean that in the fondest possible way because I know most of you aren't dicks who would, you know, use that against me or try to fuck with it. But there are some people who would and, well, they suck and they need to get a life and probably a job of their own. Just saying. So, no, I'm not going to film anything about work. I'm not even going to say where I work because, well, I just don't want to. I do have two jobs, and uh, this is my incessant rambling while I'm waiting for nails to dry so I can leave and go to work and make some money. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm on my way to work, driving in, enjoying the beautiful countryside scenery of the area in which I live. Cows and corn, and grass and trees, and horses and sheep and goats and Amish buggies and all kinds of shit. So, yes, I'm going to work and stuff. See you after. But I just got home from work and I'm very tired and Derek will be along probably in the next half an hour or so. So I'm just going to watch an episode of Frasier and then edit this while he plays video games when he gets home. So that's what's going on. Sorry if this vlog sucked, but I'll do what I can when I can. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it I'm seeing little blips and you'll actually see what's going on in my life instead of me just like narrating all of it. Promise. Tomorrow, for example, I'm going to the dentist and then I'm going to my second job. So. That should be a smashing good time. You can see what's wrong with my teeth and see me being at the dentist for the first time in like five years. <laughs> Kevin says goodnight. Okay, bye.